they are not the crimes that get the most attention. But police say they often lead to much more dangerous activities. That's why all across the metro, law enforcement agencies are on the lookout for shoplifting. Take a look at some of the stuff officers recently recovered in a holiday enforcement effort they call the Blitz. Piles of new clothes, cash, even drugs. The undercover operation is underway right now to break up what's known as boosters or professional shoplifters. Only on WCCO, Liz Collin got a rare look at how police zero in on thieves. 341 Henry Yellow Lincoln. The enforcement begins outside the stores with an unmarked car carrying two undercover police officers patrolling Egan parking lots looking for anything suspicious. If we see things that aren't normal and aren't the way we shop and aren't the way we see normal people shop, we have to ask ourselves, why are they doing that? Officer Jeff Thule points to a few red flags. He says 21-day temporary permits can be forged in case a criminal wants to remove a license plate. Usually they're not going to bend that much, and all the printing on it's not going to fade that much in 21 days. Police also look closely at cars parked in the back of a lot when there are plenty of open spaces, or if groups of people walk into a store separately. Rental cars are also checked. It's another layer of insulation for them. Officers Thule and Chris Mead make up Egan's new enhanced patrol unit, targeting a new twist in crime fighting. The retail crime is becoming far more organized, um, and it's more large scale than just a small time shoplifter grabbing a couple things and going. Take this case at the Egan High V. A man seems to stack paper towels in his shopping cart to block the camera's view, proceeding to then pile in dozens of cans of baby formula and other groceries, pushing out nearly $700 worth of merchandise without paying. Police say it's the second time he's done it and he's still out there. 123D copy tech. They are precisely the types of crimes Operation Blitz is cracking down on. We're taking the relationships that have been built between law enforcement agencies and the private sector and taking it to another level. St. Paul Sergeant Charlie Anderson serves as the executive director of the Twin Cities Organized Retail Crime Association. From Black Friday to Christmas, 36 agencies are looking for professional shoplifters, people who steal to sell the items themselves. The proceeds are known to fuel the black market and drug trade, along with having links to human trafficking and terrorism. While it may not grab as many headlines, the severity and the hurt and the victimization that occurs at a societal level and at a very personal level is real and needs to be addressed. So far, they've seen some success. Maple Grove police spotted three women carting out these suitcases from J.C. Penney. A traffic stop uncovered $3,000 worth of merchandise from the store. In Cottage Grove, a 21-day temporary permit led to four grand in cash and this marijuana stuffed in a diaper bag sitting next to a four-year-old. And in Edina, police say a shoplifter got scared at Target and left empty-handed, only to be pulled over. Packed inside a minivan, $3,500 worth of stuff from several stores. Back in Egan on a traffic stop, police found printers and other technology used to clone credit cards in a matter of minutes. But it's a particular bust at the outlet mall last month that shows just how brazen these criminals can be. They just loaded up their arms with clothes and ran out. Uh, Chris and I happened to be right there. These five people were arrested after police say they didn't pay for thousands of dollars in clothes. Right place, right time, and we're able to recover a $5,000 loss for a retailer. They are among 60 arrests Egan's new enhanced patrol unit has made in the last few months. Sending a message now to shoplifters this holiday season. Our whole goal is to catch you committing the crime. You're out here looking for them. We're out here looking for them. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. Arrest numbers for Operation Blitz won't be released until the end of the month. Liz says expect law enforcement leaders to advocate for tougher punishments during next year's legislative session. They find in many of these cases it's the same suspects reselling items into the black market because current laws don't keep them in jail for very long.